Hello everybody, I'm Emma Central and welcome to episode 19 of Talking Buses. Once again we have a very action packed show for you. There's been a lot of news regarding the electric buses. We go through your local fleet news, we go through some network news about what's happening now that COVID restrictions are starting to be eased. And then we've got a lovely simulation section with a lot of your Roblox and OMSI 2 work and then a very, very nice back seat. So without further ado, I'm going to pass you over to Ayman, who is going to talk you through the national industry news. So Ayman, take it away. Thank you, Alex. First Group announced on Monday that they will be the first ever operator to trial this new brand of electric buses, which is currently being developed, called The Arrival. Good to see first living up to their name. The trial is set to take place from autumn across the network and follows on First Group's commitment to not buy any more diesel buses from 2022 and eventually have a fully electric fleet by 2035. Gotta help the environment in it. In the west of England, the city of Bath, I prefer to call it Shower, will be introducing its new clean air zone, which will come into force on the 15th of March. First being first, are ready for it to take place. In order to prepare for this, they've already sold off all of their B7 chassis vehicles and replaced them with newer B9 TL vehicles from Greater Manchester and Aberdeen. Strike action is about to take place around the country on the buses. French operator RATP have already seen 2,000 of its staff walk out in strike action against safety and pay. Additionally, the Go North West strike action has continued with staff walking out over the apparent fire and rehire scheme that has happened within the company. All I'm gonna say is, let's hope everyone stays safe. And that's all from me. Back to you in the studio. So a big thank you to Iman for presenting the National Industry News. Now on to the network news that this week has been presented by Jake, aka Steady94. Don't have any much, Alex. You join me back in TVM Studios with your boy, Steady94. Now, Let's bring on the network news. So, in the announcement on the 22nd of February, has provided a clear image on how bus services will return back to pre-March 2020 levels. Areas have already begun to reinstate mothball vehicles, such as First Bradford, placing its older B7TL vehicles back into traffic this week with others to follow. Some services will not return, however, it is expected though by midsummer that normal service and passenger levels should begin to return. The Yorkshire Tiger in Huddersfield have had some service changes take place over the last weekend. These saw the withdrawal of Route 262 between Huddersfield, Murfield and Brighouse and been replaced from Murfield to Huddersfield by the extension of Reed Yorkshire's 261 from Clarkeaton. A permanent frequency reduction has taken place as well. I remember the 262, that was like the best route to take between Huddersfield and Dewsbury back in the day that went by a Upheaton. Like, get a Centro or an Evo on that and a good driver and you're in for a good time. Uh, speaking of uh, Yorkshire Tiger in Huddersfield, and I suppose first as well, um, recently they have started accepting each other's weekly and monthly tickets on 306 and the 324 um, they posted a tweet last week this week this week so that's a thing as well and um, and also the otley dash which is the new brand by transdev for the 965 it's had a rerouting and reworking it's now got a brand new image uh, it's using the Two X Keefley Jets Solo SRs. They are liveried sort of green and cream with the cream at the front, which is really nice. This route forms part of the old 965, as it were, and the 62 up towards Menston and Western by Otley. So they've launched this week, they are very, very nice and bring USB power, Wi Fi, things like that, which previously the service was run by a uh, Devstar MPD, which didn't have any. Features. So that this week concludes our network news. I shall hand it back to Alex for our ad break. So a big thank you to Jake 
for, as always, doing a superb job on the National Network News. Join us in part two, where I will go through all of your local fleet news happening up and down the country. We've got some lovely simulation news from the worlds of Roblox and OMSI 2. And then there's a very, very nice preserved heritage backseat. So join us in part two for all of that. So welcome back to part two of Talking Buses with me and Mar Central. We're now going on to your local fleet news and the usual reminder that in the description below there is a Google Docs form. If there's any fleet changes in your local area, be that transfers, withdrawals, repaints, anything at all, do fill that form in with your details as well so we can credit you and it will feature in a future week's episode of Talking Busters. If you have already sent something in and it isn't featured in this show, look out for it in next week's show as we are still playing catch up once again. So now without further ado, we're going to the fleet news and we'll start with the South Yorkshire where B9TL Gemini's 37480, 81 and 82 have now all been repainted in the new Sheffield blue livery. 80 carries branding for the Arctic Monkeys and 81 and 82 carry the latest branding scheme that is reflecting the full Monty television show. You can see a photo of that branding here. Staying with First South Yorkshire now, I'm making our way over to Doncaster and the long-awaited 69051, the B7 Hourly Eclipse Urban that was the first single decker to be repainted in the new Doncaster Red Buses two-tone red variation of the livery has finally entered service. So that's now back out in use with an interior refurbishment as well. Now we'll make our way over to Scotland and in the world of Lothian and Edinburgh, Eclipse 2's 186 and 187 are currently on loan with Lothian Country. Thank you to iiBus for that information. Staying with Scotland and the new Citaros, previously in use with Kinch Bus, are now in use at McGill's. They went via Blackburn Bus and Coach for refurbishment inter interior-wise, and they've now started to enter service, I believe most of which are branded for Route 38. So now moving our way over to Wales and Stagecoach in South Wales. Um, Abadar um, Depot Repaints have seen 47848, 47847, 28642, 28637 and 36403. So those vehicles have been repainted into the new Stagecoach 2020 livery. Thank you to Gareth Davies for that information. Heading over to the North East now and go North East, scan your Omnideckers X Brighton and Hove 685 is being refurbished into the go North East nicer, newer, comfier seat design that is featured on the E400 MMCs. And it on yeah, E400 MMCs and the East Rider services. And this vehicle is going to be part of the brand new Go North East. Northern Coaches fleet that currently features a few Levantes in heritage liveries. Additionally to this, Go North East X Red Kites branded Volvo B90 Gemini 2s 6118 to 6121 have transferred to East Yorkshire. So thank you to I'm a Kingslayer for that information as usual. Heading back up to Scotland very briefly and in First Aberdeen, Enviro 500 38221 SN09 CAW is now in the new Aberdeen um, Olympia 2 livery. Thank you to Alexander Thompson for that information. Heading back to Stagecoach now and in the Midlands, the second bus to be repainted in the new livery in the division is ADL Enviro 200 36952 SN63K. GU, which is based at the Rugby Depot. Thank you to Nuneaton777 for that information. Staying with Stagecoach and heading over to the Fens and our Fens correspondent, the UK bus spotter, has got us a lot more information this week. So we'll start off with 21221, 21223, 21224, 21225, 21227 and 8, 9 and 30, 32 and then 2 and 3 or 7, 2 and 3 or 8, 2 and 3, 10 and 11 and 12 have all been repainted 
joining the mentioned um, vehicles in the last episode. I believe they're in the new Stagecoach livery. Go Whippets S335 has been sold. Um, it's also in the Fens division. Going back to Stagecoach though, and Stagecoach Cambridge Park and Ride has been suspended due to COVID with all of the 66 Reg E400 MMCs being dispersed upon other routes within the city. 27643 to 27647 have transferred from Bedford to Cambridge and 34535 GXO4EYH has transferred from Bedford to Peterborough to be used as a break room. 34834 KX06JYS has transferred from Friend Station to Cambridge, presumably making up for the AE 10 regged Enviro 400s that were transferred to Peterborough. So again, a big thank you to the UK spotter, aka East Anglian correspondent for all of that information. Now going across to the west of England and first west of England 37344 has now gained the new City Lines 5 livery and branding. Thank you to somebody called Doctor Who for that information. And finally, Arriva, not Stagecoach, Arriva um, near London, Arriva in Harlow, have replaced and moved all of the 724 Green Line branded Citaros to Guildford. And the route is currently being run by E200 MMCs. There's an assumption here that the Citaros have been debranded and will be staying in Guildford, in Guildford, with the plan that the E200 MMCs could be sporting a new 724 branded livery. Thank you to Justin Hamer for that information. Once again, if you do have any news, do post it in the Google Docs form in the description below so that we can feature it in future episodes. And remember to put your name in as well so we can credit you. So now on to our simulation section and our visit here begins this week in the OMSI 2 world where more updates have been given for the upcoming Yorkshire County's version 3 payware add-on. The date for release is to be confirmed very soon and as we record this they have just announced a sponsorship from First Group South Yorkshire. So alongside Ticketer, First South Yorkshire are also sponsoring the virtual project. Staying with OMSI 2 now and looking over to Bordenham version 4 left path that has been showcased in much more detail just showing the sheer variety of work that has taken place and the sheer variety of branded vehicles and operators that are going to feature on the map. It's also presumed, it's also announced, it's not presumed, it's announced, announced that the map will also feature chrono events and teaser shots of the Omnidecker that you'll be able to see on your screen um, assumes that that might be released very soon as well, potentially with the Bodenham project. Now making our way over to the Roblox Bus Simulator world and Miss America, who has been working on the South Yorkshire map, has continued to provide further updates on this project, showing off all the different liveries and the bus types as well as the lovely map development that's taking place. And staying finally with Roblox now and the UK spotter has started a new project based around East Anglia. As you can see from the screenshots, the project is still in early development, but is still looking very good. I'd like to thank Miss America and UK spotter for providing their information um, via message to the Anmore Central Socials. So I was able to show all of you guys what they are up to. So do go and spot their projects. So that's it for Talking Buses this week. I do hope it's been an action-packed show. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you to you all who provided your local fleet news. Do keep sending that in. A big, big thank you to Iman and Jake for presenting the local and uh, the national and network um, news sections in this show. And thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this show, do click the like button so that more people can find it and enjoy it like you have. And if you are new to the channel, hello and welcome. Do subscribe for more content like this, both from the real life bus world as well as the virtual gaming world as well. So I'm going to leave you with this week's backseat that is a lovely, another nice bus. Um, it was taken on a private run I had up to the Stoke, up to a rally in Stoke a number of years ago and is on board preserved Greater Manchester PTE Leyland Leopard ECW81 registered HNE641N. So I hope you enjoy that 
and I will see you all in next week's show. Goodbye for now. Bye.